Hello and welcome to our time of devotion and prayer. Today is Do You Believe It? It's Thursday already. Thursday, August the 6th, 2020. Uh, I'm so glad that you're here as we uh, make our way through this talk about the conditions of our heart. Uh, I wanted to bring to our time together a verse from the Gospel according to Luke and talk just a little bit, just so briefly. This is just meant to kind of plant seeds, so my hope is that um, throughout the day you're thinking about the um, thinking about that one thing that we talk about and it kind of uh, creates a desire within you to dig a little bit deeper. That's my hope and prayer with this, that the Spirit is working in that way. Um, but we're going to have just a brief talk about what it means to have a teachable heart, a teachable spirit, right? Uh, is your heart teachable? So we're going to open with a word of prayer, and then I want to share a verse from the Gospel according to Luke, and then we will be on our way, my friends. Let us pray. Loving God, inspire by your Holy Spirit those who are afraid of losing hope especially us as we face this pandemic and the injustice and the things of this world that we're experiencing now. Give us a fresh vision of your love each and every day that we would find again what has been lost in so many ways. Grant us your powerful deliverance through the one who makes all things new, Jesus Christ, our Savior and Redeemer. Amen. So I love this verse from Luke because it kind of points back to the disciples. It's the words of Jesus Christ, but it's kind of a conversation between Jesus and the disciples. So here it is. This is from the Gospel according to Luke, chapter 8, and it's verse um, 10. And it's Jesus replying to the disciples uh, as they ask a question, and we'll get to that. I'll be in the New Living Translation uh, version for our time together today. Luke 8, verse 9, uh, verse 10, I'm sorry. He replied, he is Jesus in this conversation. You are permitted to understand the secrets of the kingdom of God, but I use parables to teach others so that the scriptures might be fulfilled. In saying, when they look, they won't really see. When they hear, they won't understand. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to you, O Christ. So Jesus is having this conversation with the disciples, and they're asking Jesus about parables. Jesus uses parables in uh, his teaching on a regular basis. And the thing about parables, and, and I wonder sometimes if disciples would, would ask Jesus, what does this parable mean? Because a parable is, is a story, uh, is a story that teaches us a very, very important lesson. So what a lot of people will do with parables is they'll see a parable as a cute uh, story that just is almost like it's entertaining, but it holds within it a secret, a secret that is for us to know. I use the word secret, but secret in that it's masked in a parable, uh, a secret about the kingdom of God. And we get this gift of knowledge from God to use as we grow each and every day. So are we teachable? Are we open to hear and to learn and to know these kingdom secrets, these uh, important, valuable lessons that are buried within these parables? I believe that, um, yeah, this, this particular parable in the Gospel according to Luke is the seeds, the, the, the seeds that are scattered on the ground. Um, some of the seeds land on rocky ground, some uh, on fertile soil. So. Uh, we know the important lesson there is that are we that fertile soil? Do things grow within us or do they just simply die? So is our heart teachable? As we learn in this world now of what's going on, 
uh, there is still racism, there is still hatred, there is still so much anger around the COVID-19 pandemic and um, what we should be doing, what we shouldn't be doing. Um, some people believe that it's, it's not even something that's real, which I would challenge, but all of that aside, um, it's so important for us to be teachable. And when we're teachable, it really employs a lot of the things that we have been talking about <clears throat> for the past several months. Um, it employs humility. It employs conviction. Conviction is not a bad word. Um, conviction is when uh, our emotions draw us closer to God and knowing that we need God. We need God's forgiveness. We need um, to be um, in the eyes of God, our actions, our words, our deeds, um, be pointing and glorifying God. Uh, it means that we're open to um, new things, a new way, a new life. So uh, it, it, it looks at humility, it looks at conviction. Um, are we teachable? It looks to God as the source not comparison. We've talked about this. It's been a while. Uh, we probably will revisit this. But uh, it talks about God as the source, not looking all around you and constantly comparing yourself to other people. So are we teachable? Do we know that God has a message for us each and every day in God's Word, in these stories that are parables, um, this parable that we read of, which I'm going to invite you to visit on your own time from the Gospel according to Luke in chapter 8, verse 10, that Jesus is speaking with the disciples about, um, about the sowing of the seeds. In these stories, Jesus is saying, God has given us knowledge so that we can hear these kingdom secrets revealed in parables. But we need to be teachable. That was a big boat that just went by and it's making lots of waves. So that's our message for today. Uh, I'm so glad that you're here. Uh, it's my prayer that you are well, that you're being safe, that you're healthy, uh, and that you continue to learn and grow through our time together. Remember, these are, speaking of seeds, these are seeds that I'm, I'm praying are just being planted that you um, ponder during the day. And, and also that through our time together, you are developing your own practice uh, of daily coming before God in prayer uh, and um, daily coming before God, seeking and searching and longing uh, to be closer to Christ. So we're going to close our time together with a word of prayer. But again, our, the, the condition of our heart that we talked about today is having a teachable heart, being teachable. Let's close our time together with a word of prayer. Let us pray. Direct us, Lord God, in all our doings with your most gracious favor, and extend to us your continual help, that in all of our works begun, continued, and ended, in you we may glorify your holy name, and finally, by your mercy, bring us to everlasting life through Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. Amen. My friends, it was so good to see you today. Uh, until I see you again, wherever that might be, peace be with you. Amen.